Assalamu alaikum guys and welcome back. In this video, I want to peel back the curtain and share with you exactly my entire backstory behind how I dropped out of college and exactly what I did to end up making $20,000 a month at the age of 23. So if you're curious to find out, stay tuned. So the best place to start is to share with you a little bit more about my background and who I was growing up. So I come from a Lebanese family that immigrated to Canada and I was born and raised in Montreal, Canada myself. And my family isn't necessarily very entrepreneurial. Actually, both my father and mother and all of my siblings have jobs and careers. But growing up, I always worked nine to five jobs and part-time jobs while going to school. And at a very early age, I got exposed to the world of employment, if you were to call it that, and I was very quickly disillusioned. I remember really thinking to myself at some point when I used to go to work, like, wow, is this really what I'm going to be doing for the rest of my life? Am I always going to just have to go to work and listen to a boss that's going to tell me what it is that I need to do? And I'm always going to have to beg for vacations and worry about you know what time I have and what time I don't have. And I always felt like I didn't necessarily want to live within that box. I didn't want to live that life, but I was too young to really do anything about it. And it was only at the point where I got to college and I decided I wanted to get into mechanical engineering that the gears really started running in my mind. Now, during that time when I was going to college, I had a part-time job at a uh, telecom company, a telecommunications company. Essentially, this company is one where we sold uh, smartphones, internet, you know, all the kind of things that you'd usually find at a telecom. And I was working as the tech support agent on the phones. So people would call in and they'd have issues with their Samsungs or their iPhones or, uh, you know, their Huawei's, whatever kind of brand you want. And they would call us and they'd say, hey, I have a, an issue with my phone. It's not connecting to the internet or, you know, it's powering on, powering off. And we would try to solve their problems. And I was working at that job in that call center uh, in the evenings, right after school, I would essentially go to school and then in the evenings I would go to the call center and I would do that job. And at that time as well, while I was doing both of those things, I realized when I was working the job that a lot of people would call in and they'd have all these issues. And what we would do is we would essentially just go on Google and we would try to search for the solution and try to help them. There, was, there wasn't really like a guide or anything internal that really allowed us to give them a solution. It was just trying to figure out what exactly we needed to do. And we would most of the time just end up on Google trying to figure that out. Well, long story short, what ended up happening was I thought to myself, what if I created some sort of blog or something online where I could go and share these solutions, kind of those step-by-step -step troubleshooting guides for these smartphones. Right? So instead of people calling in, they could just go online, Google it, and they could find the answer on that website. Now, back then, I didn't have really a motivation to start a business. I didn't really have it in mind that I wanted to go and become a millionaire or you know, quit my job and quit school and become an entrepreneur full time. All I really thought to myself was, here's a problem and here's a possible solution that I can maybe create. And you know, a blog is pretty simple. It's just a website with a few words. Let me give it a shot. So I was going to school during the day and I was had my part-time job in the evenings and I decided to create this blog. Now, fast forward four years, four years later, that blog ended up serving over 4 million users every year. So it ended up getting a lot of traffic and I was really surprised. I didn't really know what I was doing. Anyways, I decided to sell the website because I was making a decent amount of money, but I knew that the money that I was making from that blog just wasn't enough for me to actually you know, actually survive and pay my bills and be able to actually, you know, thrive and get a, essentially a stable income. It was enough for me to have some side income and, you know, enough for me to essentially add on to my salary, but it wasn't enough to replace my salary. So I decided to go and just sell the website and I ended up selling it for a decent amount of profit. And what happened was once I actually successfully sold that website, at that time, I was still going to school and I was still working in my job. I realized at that moment when that money hit my bank account, I was like, whoa, that's a lot of money for 
just selling a website. And I made that online just by creating something you know, out of thin air. I thought that was pretty interesting and that was pretty cool. And I realized in that moment, okay, there might be an alternative to working a job to be able to generate an income. There might be an alternative here that I'm not really seeing and exploring. What if I found a business model or a business idea that would actually allow me to generate enough to replace my salary and where I could actually live off of the income that I made online? And that started to really pique my curiosity. I really started to think hard about what I could do. And finally, I just made the decision that it, it was something that I wanted to do. It was a goal that I wanted to achieve. I wanted to create something online. I wanted to be able to live off of an online business without having to work for anyone, without having to go to school, without having to work within a certain career. And I just made a decision at that point to quit everything, quit my job, quit school, and focus on creating an online business. And I still remember that conversation with my parents when I went up to them and I told them essentially that, you know, I'm not going to become a engineer or a doctor or anything along those lines. I'm gonna quit everything to start an online business. And I remember the look on their faces, they were definitely very worried <laughs> and very concerned, uh, but I feel like they trusted me enough because I was a really hard worker and I was always focused and they trusted me enough to give me a chance and let me give it a shot. So I ended up quitting school, quitting college and decided to start a business. Now, once I made that decision, the journey began of trying to find out what could be the most profitable business that I could start that would allow me to generate a high level of income online so I could replace my salary and even more so I could live a comfortable life and be able to actually provide for myself. And I was still around 22 at that time, uh, maybe even younger, around 22, 23. And I decided after doing a lot of research that I was going to start a marketing agency. Now, the reason why I decided to go for a marketing agency is because of a few things. Number one, when I was working on my online blog, my favorite part of working on it was the marketing side. I was really interested and curious about how you were able to influence people to buy your product or to take a decision that you want them to take or to believe in your brand or you know, to influence them positively. So I was really curious about the art of, of influence and marketing is very much the art of influence. And I was really curious about how you could leverage marketing to grow businesses. And I thought to myself, if I got really good at marketing, this would allow me to grow any business I wanted to grow because every single business in the world needs good marketing. So let me try to start a marketing agency. Now, I wasn't a pro in marketing. I didn't really have all the skills that I needed. So I started looking for a bunch of courses, a bunch of training online that would allow me to learn marketing effectively. And I ended up really focusing on Facebook ads. So I started learning about Facebook ads, how to run Facebook ads for businesses, how you could use Facebook ads to generate leads, to get clients. And I would start learning and taking all these courses and I used, I used up almost all of my savings investing in mentors and mentorship and training courses to really get the skills necessary to build my online business. And I thought it would be easy to be honest with you. I mean, I started looking and following all these gurus who kept saying, hey, you can make a million dollars with an agency and it's so easy and all you have to do is run Facebook ads and do this and that. And I got really caught up in that and felt like it was easy. But what they don't tell you is that it's much harder than most people make it out to be when it comes to getting clients, right? The, the whole purpose of generating an income online through your business is that eventually you're gonna have to land clients to grow your agency. And that's a very difficult task when you're just starting from scratch and you're a nobody. So it took me a few months to figure that out and to really build my brand. And I remember when I was at month number five, after quitting my school, dropping out of college, and it's been, it had been five months uh, that I was working on my business, I was working 12 hour days, even longer, trying to figure out this online business thing out, trying to grow this marketing agency and really trying to figure out how I could you know, get clients and really generate an income with this business. And it had been five months and I didn't land a single client. I was completely broke. I was almost out of savings. I had spent so much of my money on mentorship, on training, on courses, and I had nothing to show for it, no results. And I remember that moment where I was, actually talking to my brother and I was in his home and we were having a, a discussion, a conversation. He looked at me and he said, um, you know, hey, Abby, how's it uh, going with your business? How are things progressing? And I remember 
looking at him and trying to reply, but no words would come out. And instead, tears just started flowing out of my face. And I was so frustrated and disappointed in myself at that point because I felt like I let myself down, I let my parents down, I let everyone around me down because I said I was gonna do something, I said I was gonna succeed in business and I didn't. And I felt like a failure. And in that moment, I decided that I really needed to figure out what I was doing wrong and what I could do to make this business thing work. So I really looked really hard for someone that could help me and I found a marketing agency mentor that I ended up working with and he really showed me what were the ins and outs, what I was doing wrong, what I needed to do to add clients. And fast forward a few months, at first I landed one client and I landed that client for $1,000 a month. And I remember that moment when I landed that first client after just a few months uh, of working with my mentor. And I remember when that money finally got approved by uh, my bank and just landed in my account. And I remember looking at that and being like, wow, this is it, this is my first client. And I was so excited and so happy and that meant so much to me because it showed me that it was possible. It showed me that all I needed to do was the right strategy, I needed the right guidance and the right mentorship to be successful and I was able to make it happen. And the truth is, all of us in life, when it comes to doing anything, all that's really standing in between ourselves and the goals that we have is the information that we're lacking. Once you can compensate that information and you can go and get mentorship or you can get the right guidance, that's gonna help you bridge that gap and achieve your goals and get to where you want to be. So I ended up landing one client for $1,000 a month and then that ended up being two clients and three clients and four clients and five clients. And fast forward a few months, I was working with 14 clients and I had upped my price to $1,500 a month. So I was charging my clients $1,500 a month to work with me and I would essentially set up their entire Facebook ads campaign and I would work with these local businesses and essentially advertise their businesses for them and help them get clients and they would pay me for that and they would pay me $1,500 a month for that. And with 14 clients, I ended up making over $20,000 a month in recurring revenue. I'll put a screenshot on the screen here that you can see. So I made over $20,000 a month in a single month off of that recurring revenue that I was making from working with my clients. And I was only 23. And I remember looking at that and being like, wow, this is almost you know, a quarter of my yearly salary, right? It was paid like around $80,000 a month in my old job. So this is a quarter of my yearly, yearly it would have taken me you know, three months, four months to make this in my old job. Uh, of course, minus the taxes and everything else, which ends up being barely that amount. So now that I was able to do that every month, that made such a big difference. And I realized not only have I succeeded in replacing my salary, but I've succeeded in actually getting even higher and making so much more than I used to make at my old job. And I was only 23 and that was four years ago. And ever since then, two years ago, uh, I decided that I wanted to help other people and specifically other Muslims, people from my faith background that were really struggling to help them become entrepreneurs and help them start their own businesses so they could achieve the same success that I did. And they can be uh, exposed to those opportunities and they could have these doors opened up for them and they could essentially build these businesses that will have a positive impact on others and on their lives as well. And I started by just mentoring a few people that were already knowledgeable about what I was doing and, and my skills and my success. And then that ended up growing and I started to actually build a brand. And that's how Umarpreneur got created. And I started to work with you know, Muslim entrepreneurs at a bigger scale and started to really focus on building Umarpreneur as an organization that nurtured Muslim entrepreneurship. And now fast forward two years, we've worked with dozens of Muslim entrepreneurs. We've helped them grow their businesses. I'm able to essentially work from home and work from wherever it is that I really want to be honest with you. And I'm able to travel and really go to places that I want to visit. And I recently went to Turkey and just came back and I've been to Mexico and I've been to Japan. And I've been to so many countries that I've always dreamed of visiting thanks to my online business. And this has allowed me to really live the kind of lifestyle that I've always dreamed of, alhamdulillah. And so I'm extremely thankful for embarking on this journey and for you know, going through the rough times of you know, all those months where I wasn't making any money and I was broke and I was investing all of my savings in mentorship, all of that ended up paying off and everything that I invested in, I ended up using and I ended up benefiting from. And this is why I created Omarpreneur in the end to really kind of give back and just support the future generation of Muslim entrepreneurs and people who want to start and grow their businesses and be successful as well. So this 
is my entire backstory, how I ended up going from college dropout to making 20K a month at the age of 23. And now Alhamdulillah, our focus or my focus, because now I have a team with me as well, but my focus is really just scaling the business and trying to find what is going to be the next level for us and what is going to be the next step and how we're really going to make an impact within our industry, how we're really going to make a big difference and a big change to be able to nurture Muslim entrepreneurship on a global level. So that's my focus right now. And that's really what I'm interested in and what I'm passionate about. And so if you enjoyed the story, uh, please let me know in the comments and please let me know how you felt about everything that I shared. I check all the comments and I reply to them personally. And if it's your first time watching a video on this channel, make sure to subscribe and click that notification bell. And also, if the story inspired you in any way and you're motivated to start your own business and you want our support, you want our help, we currently only work with Muslims. So if you're a Muslim and you're watching this, then we'll drop a link below where you can book a call with myself or my team. We'll talk to you. We'll understand a little bit more about you and your story to determine if we're able to help you and essentially mentor you so you can start your business with us, inshallah. And we'll also drop a few extra beneficial links, like a few trainings and resources that will help you out on your journey of entrepreneurship. So hope that you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next one. Thanks so much for watching. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.